Hello, this is Chiron Intuition, and I'm here to do a reading for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but if it does, take what goes, and please, leave what does not. Okay. That one wants to come out. Shift and transmute. Okay. Now this transmute number 44 can be significant here. Number nine can be significant. Number eight can be significant here. Okay. I feel like someone is in attack mode, but it's shifting into another energy. Like maybe somebody has a reason to feel like they're in attack or they should attack or they're being attacked or something like that. But somebody is transmuting that energy. Somebody is shedding some type of skin perhaps. Like somebody is renewing in some kind of way. Like somebody is not going to be in attack mode or something. Somebody is changing the way they're going to approach something. Pandora's gift. Hmm. And then it says, focus on the light. You see what I'm saying? Transmuting that energy of attack mode. Instead of doing that, focusing on the light. And it says Pandora's gift. I feel like someone is going to find the beauty in transmuting anger, perhaps, or transmuting attacking somebody. Because, I, I mean, I shouldn't say anger. I do feel like anger can help certain situations but it's it has to be it can't be destructive anger does not have to be destructive anger can make you realize something right it doesn't destruction is something that happens on the outside you cannot stop the way you know you feel or how somebody feels you cannot stop that but what you can do is you can transmute your actions into something more positive it says focus on the light, okay? And I feel like when somebody makes this shift, they're going to discover something that is, they're going to unlock something. We have the fourth house. This is the root of something or the family. What do we got? We got Mercury here. So the fourth house in Aries and then Mercury here. This might have to do with family or how you approach family or how you deal with family or how you speak to family. It's like, I feel like it's a very high energy or it's a very heated energy perhaps or, you know, perhaps communication. You know how family or friends can be or something like that, but it's like, I feel like there's a gift within transmuting like maybe something is uncomfortable, maybe something, maybe you feel like you want to cut somebody out or you want to attack somebody or you want to put somebody in their place and it's just better to go about it a different way. Now, a lot of people, they're going to say, oh, you know, that oh that's being real oh being real is you know if you gotta slap somebody in their face then it's just no 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 being real is a lot deeper than physically doing things okay being at least being real to yourself you can be mad about some shit okay but being real is not hurting nobody or putting your hands on nobody or being physical with nobody or threatening nobody that's not being real OK, I mean, in some in some ways, I guess it is somebody being real about how they feel. But that's why it says focus on the light. That's why it says transmute because it's so funny. The snake is in attack mode, but it says transmute. So it's like don't attack. It's telling you to focus on the light. These are two different decks here. OK, you got transmute that attack mode and focus on the light. You cannot attack when you feel like slighted or you feel like 
How can I say like this is something that you need to learn in life. And if you can do it with family or if you can do it with like the the deepest parts of yourself, then you can do it anywhere. But there is nothing that should be able to take you out of character. There is nothing that should be making you attack. OK, you can't stop how you feel, but you can change what you do. You can temper your actions. OK, it's and that was a confirmation over there. It's better to be mad and probably to say, you know, give me a minute or let me walk away. I don't think that this is that. I think this is more not even getting to that point. I think this is more realizing that you don't have to be armed. Like you could disarm yourself. Like maybe somebody snaps on people. Like maybe, how can I say this? Like maybe somebody says something that maybe rubbed you the wrong, the wrong way, but maybe they didn't mean it. Okay. And if they, if they didn't mean it, you know how us humans are we get into our emotions and we think because we feel some type of way that it's your fault and you meant it. And a lot of times it's really not like that. A lot of times it is okay to be honest. Some people do try to make, they try to, uh, what's that called? Antagonize. I understand. But a lot of times I think that people get offended by things and you be ready to jump on top of somebody, not realizing like, this is not the time. This is not the place. This is not a good reason. This is, you know, you got to transmute that. OK, and it's something that has to do with family, I believe. It's something that has to do with if you can do it with family, then you're good or you can do it anywhere. It's, so, it's something like that. And it also I also feel like this has to do with standing your ground because Aries is here and Aries is the first sign. Aries is very headstrong. So it's kind of like, I don't feel like somebody needs to attack. I feel like if you feel that energy, I think you need to transmute it. You need to maybe change the focus or change the, I don't know how to say. It's, it's just something here where you're going to find the answer within not reacting, like attacking. Because you're not, how can I say, you can't attack everybody that has their own opinion or they say something to offend you or they say something that rubs you the wrong way you can't attack everybody but you can shine light on something it's something here where you have to learn how to perhaps use your words instead of your hands it could be something like that perhaps you need to learn how to not scream and yell learn how to communicate learn how to talk instead of attack somebody Maybe people can hear you a little better, okay? Instead of, let's say, getting negative with it or or focusing on the shadow side of it, focus on the light, focusing on, let's say, shining a light, exposing something, educating. Like, let's say somebody says something to offend you, okay? Whatever it is. They say some shit like, oh, woman should be in the house cooking and cleaning, okay? And that's just an example. I don't think that. But that's just an example. Let's say somebody says that to you. Instead of cussing them the fuck out, OK, maybe you educate them, but I don't mean this is for everybody. I'm not telling nobody like seriously, this is this is a half and half good and bad example. I feel like this is somebody close to you. That's why I say this is the root. This is something that has to do with either family or the root of you or people that are close to you. It's something that you have to learn how to do it. Maybe with strangers like you don't give a fuck. OK, I get it. But with certain people. You have to learn how not to treat them like they're, you know, people you met on the street. You have to learn how to be okay with conflict and not jump on top of people every time something, you know, makes you feel some type of way. Maybe you can just say your point of view instead of jump on top of somebody. Maybe you educate instead of jump on top of somebody. Maybe you change the subject. I don't know. Do something. But it's something here where you have to learn. And I feel like there's a gift on the other side. Like by learning how to deal with with certain situations, learning how not to pounce, learning how to focus on the light, their shadow and light in every situation, especially with family. I'm just being honest. OK, I don't know who this is for, but it's definitely for somebody here. You have the Empress here. This is why it's like, I feel like somebody is on a higher level now or somebody 
Maybe perhaps you've become a mother or you've become a father or something like that. Perhaps you have grown into something or you've grown up or you found your abundance or maybe you have become something in life. Maybe you own a business. Maybe, you know, I feel like this is connected with home in some kind of way. And I feel like someone feels on attack mode when it comes to family or something like that. And it's like, it would be better to learn the lesson that the universe is trying to show you. Like it, there may be uncomfortable situations. There may be uncomfortable things that you may have to do. And it's because you're learning how to work with uncomfortable situations. You're learning how to deal with the shadow side of things and still focus on the light because that's how you're going to stay in abundant mode. This Empress is someone that is constantly manifesting, is constantly bringing energy towards them, okay? You could be somebody that's beautiful. You could be somebody that everybody likes to gravitate towards. You could be somebody that has a lot of animals or you just had children or you have children. There's something here where you have to learn how not to attack because then you're going to be empress in reverse and you don't want to do that imagine you see all these animals around here imagine if this this tree started yelling and throwing shit at all the animals because they feel some type of way about the animals eating the flowers or eating the plants or or chilling on the branches or something you get what i'm saying it's something like that and if somebody can get past this attack mode there is a gift. I'm just going to keep saying it in this reading. There is a gift on the other side of this. There's something you have to do. There's something you have to realize is part of you. It's part of how you need to be moving forward. It's part of that. Okay? Because perhaps you're going to get in life and you're going to realize everybody ain't nice or everybody don't like you or everybody is not your friend and you can't jump on them. You can't jump on them just because somebody is not feeling you or somebody don't like you or somebody's not attracted to you. Somebody, you can't do that. There's lessons that the family teaches you. And sometimes they are hard lessons. But if you can deal with, how can I say this? Sometimes... I can't even go there because then it would get it would get so deep. Sometimes your family that you were born into is a replica of your royal family and what happened in that time. And if you can heal that, well, not even necessarily heal that. If you can deal with whatever it is that is within, let's say, your blood family, then you will meet your royal family because what happened in your real family in this life, it happened in a past life, too. And if let's say, if you don't know how to deal with your present life family, if you don't know how to deal with them, you will not be able to deal with the past life family. And I think that that's, the, that's another shift that is happening, okay? There's something maybe that you feel some type of way about family or you feel some type of way about something that they did or you feel some type of way, blah, blah, blah. That may... <laughs> If you can't handle that, that may block you from understanding the royal family. Like, let's say something hurt your feelings with your real family and it's taking you a long time to get over it or get past it or whatever the case is, you know, whatever. If you are a royal, if you are a star seed, if you are a chosen one, okay, you were born into this family to show you what happened, okay, and you can't. You have to get to a place where you're mature, where you're grown, where you're not going on attack mode, because then that's exactly how you would be with your past life family. Let's say, let's say we did not forget, okay? Pretend that when you get born again, you don't forget. You would literally run into your family and have the same problems that you had in the past life. And it's like, you have to take care of those before you can cross over. You have to you have to own certain things and man this is the yeah this is something else right here what's at the bottom here you got the nine of wands and that's what i'm saying i don't feel like this is something that's easy i feel like this is something like damn do i have to or damn like i put i, I fought all of my battles and now i gotta fight this one too it really feels like that but it's good for you it's good for you to know how to operate in situations where you feel like you want to attack, but you're not going to. 
it's good for you to like if you like I said, if you can do it with the people that are closest to you, you can do it with anybody. Okay? This could also involve like a mother or father or something. You have the four of swords here. There's something that has to be like put to rest or there's something that has to like, you have to get peace with something. Like something has to be made peace. Like you gotta balance something out. You have to be at peace with something like mentally. Like focus on the positive things. You have the Hierophant energy here. Perhaps you're somebody that, you know, you're looked up to. Perhaps you're somebody that is very big on integrity. Perhaps you're somebody that's stepping into your integrity and you're realizing that this is something that you have to do one day or something that you have to conquer, something that you have to be at peace with. You know, what if you had a turbulent childhood and you grew up, you know what I'm saying? You grew up, you did something for yourself. You're doing a little better. You know, whatever the case may be, there's something that family is there to teach you. Now, I'm not saying be a fool. I'm not saying be naive. I'm not saying do any of that. What I'm saying is learn how to not be triggered every time you feel some type of way. OK, you have to learn how to transmute it. You have to let it go, because what if somebody in real life triggers you? They're not even going to know why you're attacking them, why you're cussing them out, why you changed up on them. It's like you have to own it at the root. You have the Ace of Pentacles here. I'm telling you, there's a gift on the other side of this. There is a gift on the other side. Of it. There's an opportunity to make something real. And it's coming from above. It's not something that you can do on your own. It's, an, it's how can I say, potential is not from us. When we have the potential to do something, it's because that is the moment that is best for it. You know, like strike when the iron is hot kind of energy. What's at the bottom here? You got the tower card, the tower right next to the nine of wands. So if somebody is basically saying, damn, do I have to do this? Yes, you do. You got to break beyond this barrier. You got to break beyond this barrier. You got to go further than that. It's, you know, I feel like somebody has come far, but the universe is asking you to go further. Okay. You got the fourth house here. You got Aries and you got Mercury, which is the planet of communication. It's the messenger of the gods. It's the closest planet to the sun. Okay. It's something here that you have to work on when it comes to your communication, when it comes to pushing your will, when it comes to your anger, when it comes to how you express yourself with people that you love, with loved ones, people that are close to you. It could be family, friends, people that just know you. They know the old you, perhaps. OK, there's something here that somebody has to work on because there is a gift on the other side of it. You have the Ten of Wands. So it went from the Nine of Wands, then you got the Tower, which burst you out of the Nine of Wands. You got the Ten of Wands here coming to peace. This is one of the hardest things somebody will ever have to do, is to make peace. And it's gonna happen when somebody, I believe, is very mature. Like, it's going to represent your maturity. Oh my God. You, I always talk about sending a message to the universe like you know if you accept bad relationships you're basically telling the the universe that this is what you want these are this is the relationship that you want okay now when it comes to let's say family or loved ones when you send the message to the universe that you can stand on your own in your family or that you stand up for yourself and your family without destroying people or destroying you know whatever the case may be you send a message to the universe that you are a grown ass man a grown ass woman okay because everybody is different you're not going to like everybody you're not going to agree with everybody but you got to learn how to fucking get along i'm so sorry to cuss but you got to learn how to get along you got to learn it doesn't mean you got to sacrifice your identity it doesn't mean you got to be a punk it doesn't mean you got to let people walk over you. It don't mean none of that. 
It just means learn how to stand in your power. Fuck what other people are doing. They gonna do what they do. Do what you do without destroying, okay? Without breaking somebody down or whatever the case may be. It says focus on the light. Focus on the light. There's something that's transitioning here. There's something that is shifting here and it is powerful. And it is one of the hardest lessons that somebody has to do. Somebody has done a lot because all the only ones that's out here is the nine of wands and then the ten of wands is out here. Somebody has done a hell of a lot. Somebody has won a lot of fights, a lot of battles. But this is one right here. You have to do this. This is like the last step. It's the last step. You have to face your family. You have to be able to stand and be an adult and be grown. And you know what I'm saying? Like, if you can't do that, then you're basically sending a message to the universe that you're still a child or that you're still in child mode, no matter how old you are. If you can't be yourself in your family, if you can't stand your ground in your family without breaking people down or without, you know, you know, feelings going to be hurt. But there is a difference between people's feelings being hurt and literally attacking somebody. OK, there's something here where you have to show the universe how mature you really are. And you're going to see what comes into your life. It's Pandora's gift. There's something here that's going to unlock something that has never unlocked. And you got the Ten of Sword. You want to put an end to something here. Maybe how you talk, maybe how people talk to you, maybe ideas surrounding you or what you do. It's something here where you're going to you're a different person now. You're a different person now and they have to accept this. They have to accept it. Blessings and abundance. And you got ask and receive here. I really think that this is going to lead somebody where they need to be. It's going to lead somebody to further in their blessings and abundance. This is why the universe is leading you this way. I'm going to leave it right here. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. I really, really appreciate it because it is how we get the messages out in order to elevate the collective. I love you guys, and I'll be back with another reading later. Bye.